Welcome to another video of Pharmacon tutorial. In today's lecture, we will be discussing about the pharmacotherapy of shock. So let's get into the video. Shock is a stage of acute circulatory failure leading to generalized impairment of cellular functions. Here in this uh, condition, shock, the uh, cardiac output is inadequate to provide tissue perfusion. The clinical manifestations is mainly as a result of the stimulation of the sympathetic and neuroendocrine stress responses. Secondly, due to inadequate oxygen delivery that is hypoxia and end organ dysfunction. In response to shock, body releases various mediators such as histamine, prostaglandins, bradykinins and serotonins. And uh, this leads to capillary dilation and increased capillary permeability that further reduces blood pressure and cardiac output. The main signs and symptoms of this uh, shock include very low arterial blood pressure, a weak a rapid pulse, cold pale sweaty skin, then a rapid breathing, dry mouth, reduced uh, urine output and anxiety. The main etiology or uh, cause behind this uh, shock includes hemorrhage, burns, dehydration, severe vomiting or diarrhea, then bacterial septicemia and pulmonary embolism. Now let us discuss some of the commonly used uh, drugs for shock. So the primary goal of our uh, shock therapy is to increase the blood pressure. So obviously we will be using vasopressor agents. So such agents include norepinephrine, epinephrine, dopamine, etc. So this norepinephrine, it is the most widely used vasopressor and uh, it produces vasoconstriction by action on alpha 1 receptor that is uh, it is an alpha 1 agonist. So it uh, increases the blood pressure by increasing the systemic vascular resistance. And uh, since these catecholamines are degraded by Mao and Comte, they are uh, the root of uh, preferred as the parenteral root. The second drug is the epinephrine, which is again a vasopressor and is mostly used during cardiac arrest and anaphylaxis. It has uh, action on both alpha and uh, beta receptors. By acting on alpha 1, it will increase the CVR that is the systemic vascular resistance and by acting on beta 1, it increases the heart rate and myocardial contactility. The third drug is the dopamine, again a vasopressor agent which is mainly used in uh, cardiogenic and uh, septic shock and uh, it can be also used in uh, severe CHF wherein uh, it increases the blood pressure and urine outflow. Next drug is the uh, dobutamine which is a synthetic catecholamine and an enodilator. And uh, this uh, dobutamine uh, action on this beta 1 uh, receptor, it stimulates uh, beta 1 receptor and increases the heart rate and increases cardiac contractility. While on beta 2 receptor, it mediates a vasodilation. And the last drug is the vasopressin which is a peptide hormone released from posterior pituitary. It acts on the V1 and V2 receptors. By acting on V1 receptor, uh, it stimulates the smooth muscle thereby causing a smooth muscle contraction and vasoconstriction of the uh, arterial walls. And by acting on V2 receptor, it will increase the water retention. Now let's discuss about the types of shock. So first of all, let us have a discussion about the cardiogenic shock. This uh, cardiogenic shock, it is uh, due to the inadequate cardiac output due to pump failure, which results in hypoxia. The main cause of this uh, cardiogenic shock is acute myocardial infarction, then myocarditis, etc. And uh, the main goal of our therapy should be to increase the contractility of the heart and to increase peripheral vascular resistance and thereby to increase stroke volume. So this can be attained by using the treatment like enotropes 
like uh, cardiac glycosides, dopamine, dobutamine, etc. And secondly, using cardiac beta-1 agonist and finally thrombolytic agents like uh, streptokinases. The second type of shock include a uh, hypovolemic shock. So this is mainly as a result of improper tissue perfusion, mainly due to severe loss of blood and uh, inadequate fluid intake. The main causes include hemorrhagic, burns, excessive vomiting and diarrhea. The signs and symptoms include anxiety, restlessness, hypotension, hypothermia, then a uh, distracted look in the eyes. The main goal of this uh, treatment for this uh, to correct this hypovolemic shock is to increase cardiac output and uh, tissue perfusion and also to improve the myocardial contractility. So the drug of choice include uh, chronotropic agents, enotropic agents and uh, sedatives. The next type of shock is the septic shock which is an inflammatory response to infection by gram negative and less commonly with a gram positive bacteria. The signs and symptoms include hyperthermia, then uh, tachycardia and decreased blood pressure. The treatment include fluid replacement, oxygen supplement and antibiotic therapy, then isoprenaline that is to improve the tissue perfusion. Then again uh, dopamine and uh, corticosteroids are used uh, to suppress the systemic reactions to endotoxins. Next is about the anaphylactic shock. So uh, on exposure to uh, antigens, uh, the body causes a release of various mediators like histamine, leukotrins and uh, prostaglandins. So the signs and symptoms of uh, release of uh, such mediators include urticaria, angioedema and bronchospasm. So the main treatment here is the uh, use of epinephrine, antihistaminics like uh, diphenhydramine, ranitidine etc. And uh, also use of beta 2 agonist as well as hydrocortisones. And uh, finally, we have a neurogenic shock which is developed due to the sudden loss of autonomic nervous system function and uh, this may be due to any injury to the spinal cord. And the main signs and symptoms include the hypotension and uh, bradycardia and the treatment include fluid replacement, then use of atropin for uh, bradycardia and uh, ephedrine. So that's all about the uh, shock.